In order to start designing this pro uh, to design this the side part, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm set to the right plane. So I'll set there, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw a simple little rectangle with some dimensions that I'm going to give it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my D command for dimensions. I'm going to start with this, and I'm going to say that is 64.77 millimeters. Okay, and then I'll come down here and I'll say this is going to be 32.5435 millimeters. Okay, we'll put that in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a center line in. So I'll grab this uh, line command. I'll come over to center line and I'll scan down. I'll, I'll slide my mouse down the side, uh, the top side of this part and I'll see a triangle. That triangle means midpoint. And if I find another triangle at this bottom line, that means it's perpendicular at the midpoint. Good. I'm going to turn these constraints off. Excuse me. I'll turn off these constraints. So that way it's easier for me to see. Now I'll draw another um, center line from here over to there. And I've got that in there. Okay. Now I'm going to copy, uh, do an offset from the center line here, the vertical center line. I'm going to say 9.525 divided by 2 and it's going to copy that off to that point right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and mirror that one line right there. I'll select my center line as my mirror line. Got that in. That looks good. Now I'm going to come down here and draw a line down here, three millimeters. I'm going to come over here and do the same one on the opposite side. I'll do that at um, three millimeters. And then now I'm going this direction. I'm going to say 9.525 again. So that's in. And I think just for uh, speed wise, I'll go ahead and do a mirror copy of this line based on this center line here. And I think it got it in there for me. Yeah, I did. Let me move this over a little bit. You can see it. Okay, we'll come in and draw a vertical line for this tab to there. Okay, come over here, do the same thing on this one. And so those two tabs are in. Let's clean up these lines a little bit. I'm going to come over here and trim out this, trim out this, trim out that, trim out that. Go ahead and trim out that one section of the tab, one section of the tab there. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I can't really use a linear, uh, a rectangular pattern on this, but I'm just going to come over here and come off that one corner, come up here and select this line here, come up here and make sure I'm vertical. And I'll go ahead and set up a dimension from here to there to be 9.525. Okay, so that's in there. And I will go ahead and draw a line from a line. Let's get a line here. Line from here over. Don't care how far that is. But I will go ahead now and mirror this line here and this line here off this center line to the other side. That looks pretty good. Okay. And I believe just by looking at that, I can go ahead and do an extend line down to there. Same one as here. Hit my trim command, trim this out. Okay. We'll trim out uh, this piece here and this piece here. Looks good. So up top here, I'm going to go ahead and, and draw a line from here down to there, just an arbitrary line. I'll hit escape, get my hit my um, shortcut key. We'll go to dimension. We'll dimension this guy to there. Try that again. Dimension from here over, I'll say three millimeters. And I don't want to do that, actually. Let's go ahead and undo that. Because we want to make sure that this line stays right on that center origin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to grab that one line right there and I'm going to, um, I'm going to come up here with my right mouse click and I'm going to fix that line in place so it doesn't move. Now I'll come back over here, change that dimension to three and definitely did work. So I will go ahead now and I will draw, I'll actually do an extend line of this line over there. And I will come over here and I will trim this piece here. 
And now I'm going to draw another line. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension this guy here to uh, 9.525. Whoops, did not want to do that. Control Z. You have to kind of watch your constraints on this, so you've got to make sure that things just don't go moving arbitrarily. So to get around that and having to deal with constraints, I'm just going to draw a line over here like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit my trim command. I'm going to trim that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and dimension from here over to 9.525. That's much better. And I'm going to mirror copy this. Um, can I move that out of the way there? I'm going to mirror copy this guy and this guy. Go by the center line, which would be here. And it will bring it up over to the other side, which it did. That's good. And OK. Move it out of the way and you can see it. Now we just need to extend this line here over. That did good. Let's go ahead and trim out these uh, interior lines here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw another line uh, somewhere right in here. I'm going to go out three millimeters and I'm going to come down to here, a line down and say 9.525. Put that in there. I'll go ahead and dimension from here, here to 9.525. Looks like it took that. So I'll come across and draw me another line from there to there. I want to move this to hit. I'm going to hit cancel. Uh, whoops. That's about that. Didn't need that line, so I'll control Z that out. I'm going to click on that. Move that dimension over. Ah, it looks much better. I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and now mirror copy um, these, this tab here. Select my center line, mirror copy over there. That looks pretty good. Let's trim this out. Trim that out. And so far, so good. This is looking pretty good. Uh, let's double check that. That's clean. Okay. Let's take a quick break and come right back to this. Okay, I'm going to come up here and get a line command. And I'm just going to draw lines somewhere over in here. And making sure I'm not snapping anything important. I'm going to key in 10 millimeters. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is do a dimension that goes from this edge here to this edge here. And I'm going to set that at a weird number. 46.4847. Put that in okay now what I want to do is I want to come back to this in a moment okay you see this a little bit better I need to move this dimension out of the way so I'm going to move him over here kind of way out of the way and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from here so I grab that point and come all the way over to there and that should be 10 millimeters. Uh, let's go ahead and measure that real quick. Make sure it's 10 millimeters. Okay, good. That's 10 millimeters. Hit escape. And now I'm going to set a dimension from here over to there at 10 millimeters. Okay. Now, with that said, I'm going to draw a very small line. I'm going to scroll up to here. And I'm going to come across this way. And I'm going to see in 0.38 six nine of a millimeter okay put that in scroll i'm gonna take that dimension and pull it down scroll over here to this side i'm gonna draw the same line going the opposite direction 0.3869 okay and from there i'm gonna draw a three point um triangle so i'll come over here to this and I'll go get, excuse me, a three-point rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy here, this one little point I just got, scroll across to that one, scroll up to about somewhere up in here, it doesn't matter what size it is, and I'm going to take a dimension from this side to this, I'm going to say four millimeters. Good, that's in there. Okay, now let's trim this out a little bit. We'll come over here to the trim command, we'll trim out this, that looks pretty good. I'm going to trim this out, scroll up on this, 
trim that out and you can start to see how this tab is starting to come in okay so what I want to do now is I want to get some more measurements and move some of these dimensions around here get that out of the way that looks better and uh, yeah I think this is starting to look starting to starting to make sense now come back to this in a second okay I went ahead and moved this dimension the, the four uh, millimeters out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line here and I'm gonna go down nine millimeters on that line okay and now with that done I'm going to dimension that line to um, I'll say 2.75 okay and I'm gonna do the same thing also again except let me go ahead and draw this all the way out here I'll do that instead I'll go ahead and draw a line over here that's point three eight six nine okay and I'll draw a line from there up to here and I will now put in another line I'm trying to find the center line there that's good so I'm going to take and you do this and make myself a little center line and then now what I will do is I will copy to the opposite side these two and let's make sure we get this correct so I will highlight these two items here and I will select that so I don't make sure I get that and I will grab that center line and put it here and hit OK now let's do a couple quick measurements to make sure we got that in there correct so I'm gonna go from here to there 2.75 that's good and I'll go and hit reset on that close that measure it again I'll go from here to there and of course I'm looking above here it's 2.75 so I'll close that out okay that looks good let's roll up on this and let's use our shortcut command hit the trim function and let's trim out that line right there come over here do the same thing here scroll over and then I will do a fillet where I select this guy and this guy and that's one millimeter fillet and that's perfect I like that okay so it looks like we got that incorrect I'm gonna go ahead and check that off and looks good looks real good so let's go ahead and come back to this in a moment okay let's go ahead and make sure we saved our file again uh, it looks like I've already got it saved that's fine and we're now going to create our drawing for this given part so we'll go ahead and say new drawing from design we'll make sure we're set to ASME instead of ISO make sure we're set to an A drawing double check we're at landscape that's good so it's going to go out and create us a new drawing sheet now this one is going to be a little different than the ones we've done before I'm going to set this to the left view so I can see it in this angle and I'm going to change that scale to one to one and I'm going to move that that looks good I'm going to move this up here a bit now we're going to do something different we've not done before we're going to go ahead and do a detailed view so we're going to roll up on this tab here this uh, we're using our middle, middle mouse button and we're going to create a you know we're going to create this section view let's grab one of these features and I'm going to roll out to about right there and see how it puts that out there well I'm going to move this over here the reason we want that section view is so that it allow us to get more detail on the dimensioning for that part right there so hit OK and I'm going to click on this and try to move that over just a little bit yeah that gives me a better look on that section view okay so let's uh, go ahead and hit the D key for dimensions we'll go ahead and start with this right here we'll come up and we'll come over here to this and we'll go to there we'll go there now we obviously we need to get our full precision in there so we'll go ahead and click on the document settings go ahead and scroll down here so we can find units oh units there you are set it to uh, four decimal places for precision and we'll make sure that's all in there hit okay all right, so now we've done that, you can see the four decimal places. So we're gonna go ahead and start dimensioning these out. I'm gonna rotate this, this up just, uh, let's see, I'm gonna rotate it up or not. 
Now I'm going to leave that about right there. Okay. We'll dimension this area from here to there. Okay. Oh, let's do that again. Reset Control Z. We'll go from the orientation from the bottom to here so we can get it over to the right side. That's a little better. Same thing with this. We'll put that in there. I'm going to click on this, hit escape, click on that. I'm going to move that down to like here. It's good. And I'm going to go ahead, let's get it's got our tabs in there and everything. Just to be sure on the horizontal, I'll go ahead and dimension this as well. So the implication is that it is 9.525, so it's no big deal there. Okay, we'll go up here and dimension from here to there. Pull that up. We'll go from here to here. And we've got that in. So now I'm just going to pan over to this area right here and get some dimensions in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, select that point there, come off. If that's 10. I will select uh, this line here, come up. We'll go from this eye. Uh, area here to there same thing with this guy over here up to here trying to be consistent with the horizontal orientation of the text now we'll go ahead and uh, we'll dimension um, this one move it off to the side I'll put it kind of in the center so it can kind of reference both areas and since I didn't quite get it in the center I'm just going to double oops, click on that I'll move that more over to the center and it's pretty well implied that it's going to be for both sides so that looks good um, now we need to make sure that we've got a dimension from here to here it's four and we probably need an overall dimension on this tab so I'm gonna give it this one and this one to go up yeah that looks pretty good now we'll zoom up on this and we'll catch these little bitty dimensions here so Grab that, grab that, put that in, and we'll do the same thing here, here, pull that down, and I'm going to hit escape, do that again, and here, right there, come down with that, okay. So that pretty well gets the fact that all these are dimensioned in the same size, wonderful. Okay, I think we've got all of the part dimensions we need for this, for this side. So let's go ahead and hit the uh, T key for text. Go ahead and get our drawing numbers in, take care of all that business. We're going to say 002 dash PB dash side dash part right. Okay. And we'll click up here, grab that, roll up on it, and we'll drag that to this location there. So come over here, hit the T key for text, draw us a text block in there. We'll put the letter number one in there. We'll hit uh, off to the side, click on that, double click on it. It should open up that text box so I can center it. And I'll take this and I'll move it down. I like uh, more centered. More centered right there, I think. That looks good. Okay. Um, we'll put in our favorite people and we'll do the text command again. Approved by Deke. So a y t o n put the slating in there. Hit the uh, text command again. Uh, Jim bubble. Okay, that looks all pretty good on that. Um, I'm going to go back up here on the weight because I'm not sure again if I'm using basswood or if I'm using um, uh, Baltic birch. So I'm going to say to be, be determined hyphen hyphen arbitrary. Spell that right again. Let me double check that. Not sure if I spelled that right, but we're going to find out. Okay, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Control Z. Okay, try that one more time. You can't
can't find it where you want to put the text, just go somewhere above it and you can move it down. T, T, D, D, hyphen A R R. Okay, click off here, drag that down. Okay, scroll over here, text block again. We're going to say material. Okay, I'm going to say 3mm, Baltic, Birch. Or, or bass plywood. Okay, and then we'll say finish spray clear enamel. Okay, click off to the left there, and that should be correct. I think we're good on this. Let me just double check something real quick. I think we're good. Okay, we're going to stop here for now and uh, come back to. Okay, the last thing we got to do is got to save the file. So we already have the default uh, file name in there. We'll save that. We'll come over here and double check our drawing inside of um, Adobe Acrobat when we produce it out to there. So we'll hit OK on that or save on that. and it will open up acrobats we will collapse those panels and the part looks pretty good i think we've got it the nice thing about this is we able to do the detail section so that way we can get more detail we can look at it things better as opposed to cramming all those all those dimensions right there on top of each other okay so let's go on now to the hinges